Epithelioid hemangioendothelioma, or EHE for short, is a very rare type of tumor that originates from endothelial cells in the inner lining of blood vessels. When these cells become abnormal, they change their shape under the microscope. Instead of staying thin and flat, they become rounder and fuller, almost resembling the epithelial cells that line organs, hence the name epithelioid. What makes EHE unique is that it doesn't behave like a classic benign tumor, but it also doesn't show the rapid growth or aggressive spread of high-grade cancers. Instead, it falls somewhere in between, meaning some people have slow, stable disease for years, while others can experience growth or metastases over time. Now, since endothelial cells can be found everywhere where there's blood flow, EHE can develop in almost every organ, including the liver, lungs, bones, and soft tissues. Typically, it causes few symptoms, and when it does, they tend to be quite subtle. For example, in the liver, it can cause discomfort in the upper abdomen, fullness after meals, or mild nausea whereas in the lungs, it can lead to persistent dry cough, slight shortness of breath, or chest tightness. Localized pain and vascular congestion are common, and generalized symptoms such as fever or weight loss can occur in association with tumor spread. Less commonly, EHE can develop in bones, especially weight-bearing bones like the femur, tibia, pelvis, or spine. People often notice persistent localized pain, similar to the soreness you might feel after accidentally bumping into furniture. The bone may feel tender or swollen, and in rare situations, the affected bone might become weak enough that a minor fall or twist causes a fracture. Although not as common, EHE can also present as a slowly enlarging lump in muscle or soft tissues, which can be painless or cause a dull ache. As for diagnosis, EHE is often discovered incidentally on an ultrasound or a CT scan done for another reason. Typically, it appears as small, multiple nodules scattered throughout the affected tissue. Its radiologic characteristics and slow-growing pattern help differentiate it from more aggressive malignancies. Confirmation of the diagnosis is done through a biopsy. In many cases, genetic testing identifies specific changes, like the TAS CAM to 1 gene fusion, which helps confirm the diagnosis and rule out other vascular tumors. Because each case of EHE behaves differently, there's no one size fits all treatment. If the tumor is small or not causing symptoms, doctors may recommend active surveillance. This means monitoring the disease closely with regular scans rather than starting treatment immediately, which helps avoid unnecessary or aggressive interventions. Alternatively, when the tumor is in an area where it can be removed safely, surgery might be the preferred option. Also, anti-angiogenic agents like bevacizumab or sunitinib, which block signals that encourage new blood vessels to form, can be used in cases of widespread or fast-growing disease. All right, as a quick recap, epithelioid hemangioendothelioma, or EHE, is a very rare tumor that develops from endothelial cells lining the inside of blood vessels. Most individuals are asymptomatic, and the tumor is picked up incidentally on imaging as multiple small nodules, often in the liver or lungs. Diagnosis requires a biopsy, and treatment may include active surveillance, surgery, or targeted medications depending on the features of the tumor. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.